Keith, how do you guys kind of process everything that went down Thursday night? It's such an unusual, dramatic turn of events. Um, I mean, it's hard, man, um, because, uh, you know, we lose some great guys, right? And I feel like right now at this time, there's really no time to waste. You know, we've, we've stacked two good games on top of each other, and, you know, we're looking forward to continuing stacking them. And, you know, there's no way to replace the amount of guys that we lost last game uh, moving forward. And so that means that we're going to have to have a tremendous amount of talented young players come up and, and, and make some um, effort to uh, make some impact plays for us. Does it feel like the, the challenge has got so much harder? I mean, right, you guys would have had to string a bunch of wins anyway. Yeah. And then to do it without maybe your best defensive player, can you even quantify how much tougher that is? It, it, it is going to be tough. Um, but I think that we have a lot of depth behind him to everybody to now realize that, you know, whoever fills his position is definitely going to have to play well, but everyone as a whole we're going to have to take it up another notch. And we all have to, to look within ourselves and say, what can I do better for myself to help elevate for the, for the missing piece that we have? And so um, when, you, when you look at it from that standpoint, it doesn't put stress just on a few positions that we're missing now. It, it more so puts pressure on you as an individual. And um, now you really critique yourself and say, okay, this is what I'm going to do different to enhance and make our team better. And you know, we're talking about Miles, but Morgan Burnett too. What kind of loss yeah. is that for you guys? Yeah, that's that's a big loss, man. You know, been in this league a long time, savvy veteran, um, knows the system in and out, uh, leadership. You know, I mean, he has just so many capabilities that you really can't replace. Um, and so, from that standpoint, like I said, we're going to have to have a younger guy, or you know, some of the guys that we've been playing. They're going to have to step up and, and, and play big. And, and this is the opportunity that um, they have been given, and, and we need them to maximize that opportunity from every standpoint. And so can't replace, can't replace guys like that, man. All you can do is continue to corral yourself and, and, and look at yourself, like I said. Yeah, man, they handle that upstairs. Yeah. So... Um, you know, our coaches staff and, and, and uh, the staff upstairs, they do a great job with handling those type of things and, and bringing up guys or, you know, bringing in guys that definitely is going to be vital to helping us be successful. Uh, so I'm interested to see what happens as we move forward to the week and prepare for Miami. Ah, I'm going to try to stay out of that role. Um, but, you know, when it comes to certain packages, you know, I'm pretty sure the coaches will dial up some things to to utilize us all in different ways and facets that we may not have thought of, but still keeping it to a base situation of what we normally do, ideally. And Demarius is good, I mean, obviously, whether or not it was, but does that change kind of how you guys think about things? Or like, does it kind of bring it back up in the room to, you know, watch those kind of hits and the ejections and the penalties? Yeah, man, you, you know, you, I feel like as us as players, we know the safeties of this game and none of us are intentionally trying to, uh, take anybody out from that from that nature you know we all we all want to uh play long enough to where when we walk away from this game you know we're walking away healthy and so it definitely makes us more conscious of you know the angles and, and sometimes it's just it just happens because you know a receiver may be ducking or moving and you're coming in and, and you're trying to control your body and so some of those things definitely makes it difficult but i think that us as as pros we're, we have to continue to dive in and figure out ways to to play safe I did reach out to Miles and just just check on him, man. You know, no one knows kind of what he's going through mentally. Um, you know, I feel like we're we're a brotherhood and, and things like that. You know, it shouldn't it shouldn't eliminate the conversation or eliminate the feeling that we're always going to be here. You know, and so definitely reached out to him, and you know, I'm pretty sure he has a lot of people reaching out to him. So uh, hopefully we get to connect, and I'm pretty sure a lot of other players have been able to talk to him. Does it feel like there's kind of a cloud? over the team just because of how Thursday night ended? I wouldn't say a cloud, but it, it definitely it definitely made us realize that, I mean, all our goals are ahead of us and they can be taken away like that, right? You know, those things can, can happen where you lose three or four guys in a game and it's like, okay, now we have to regroup. We got to come back to the, to the drawing board and, and dial up some more things to 
help us be successful. And so uh, it is a bitter win because you lose so many guys and you, and you never want to never want to end up in that type of situation. Are you concerned though with the Miles thing and then the helmet to helmet hits are kind of getting a reputation that you don't really want? Um, I'm pretty sure there's already a reputation that we have, right? And um, I think it's not really our job to continue to worry about the outside noise. It's, it's our job to always go on the field and protect one another as brothers and, and go out there and, and play within the rules. And sometimes, you know, that, that come, it, it can be hard from that standpoint. Um, but they, they have us here for a reason, and I think that's the biggest reason is, you know, the rules, we may not like them, and sometimes they may be um, extra in other ways, but as Freddie continues to tell us, we can't change the rules, so we have to conform to them and, and go out there to play to our best abilities. Do you think Mason Rudolph should have been suspended? I don't want to comment on that, man. Um, you know, I feel like the NFL, it's, it's definitely up to them for, for, for them to make that type of decision. Um, and from from there, that's that's how I, I'll leave it at that. Is it fair to wonder how this team is going to respond to something like that? Like you know what I mean? Is there a sense, sense of uncertainty just how you right. guys will rally together? Yeah, I mean it, it, that's always you know you always want to be faced with obstacles, and yeah, you know definitely you know who who's going to be the next player to step up and and make a name for himself, right? And who's going to be the players that we currently have now to continue to impact the game uh, furthermore, and so. I think it, with anything, it brings us closer together to figure out, okay, how are we going to do this? And then whoever we put in those positions, we got your back. You know, go out there and play free. Go out there, have fun. Um, this is a game that we've played since we were little kids, little boys, right? It's not nothing more difficult than that. And so just making sure that everyone feels that we all have confidence and trust and believe within one another. How did Freddie try to kind of refocus you guys when you came back today? Um, really just moving on. I mean, let's not stay in this too long and allow this to affect more days ahead of us. Let's let's move on from this standpoint and and know that what happened happened and we can't change it at this point. Right. All we can do is grow from it and learn from it and understand that everything's right in front of us, like I said, but it can be taken away like that. Was it, was it almost beneficial to have a couple of days away and sort of have that little, I guess, a little mini buy or whatever? Yeah, it's definitely, I mean, just from a, physicality standpoint man it's always hard playing Sunday and then coming back and playing Thursday so definitely getting our bodies back and, and, and allowing us to regroup and refocus from that standpoint and, and look into what we have to do to continue to finish out this season and knowing that we lost some talented players and uh, how we're going to step up and make an impact. Did you get a sense of practice though that everybody was, was in with that? Yeah, yeah from, that, yeah, from that standpoint, yeah, we went out and practiced, competed against each other. I mean, competition always breed, breeds high energy, right? And, and, um, and so from that standpoint, I feel like we all took that a step and approach, and we understand that what coaches is telling us and what Freddie is telling us is always going to be the best for the team.